because you have taken the time to come here um i am assuming that you are awake to this quickening that we're in where a number of human beings are strongly called to awaken still um the masses are being called to but many are unconscious and don't realize that so this has been for for a long time the preparation for this moment that we're facing now this has been like a preparation going on for a long time and I'm saying that the preparation is over. Our human um, situation is critical. Many of you know we're facing extreme, really extreme times out there in the play on the screen, in the play of this uh, human screen. It's all going crazy. All the systems are breaking down. What we thought we could rely on because we've been conditioned to believe that systems are stable. We've been conditioned into believing that things are, there's a security in this uh, earthly manifestation of worldly things, that there's some kind of security and that systems are supposed to work and all of that. And it's all breaking down and it will be continuing to break down all falling apart and that that can be very challenging many of us will be facing all kinds of challenges maybe many of you are already and there's something amazing that when we have extreme challenge we also have a golden opportunity in it so there's this double thing happening we got extreme challenge on the table on every level in our humanness our health our financial system or everything everything um that we would want to be stable is showing itself unstable and <clears throat> there's challenge <clears throat> for so many people on so many levels and this is just the beginning you know it's about to get more and more and more extreme and within that there's an opportunity now for mass awakening like there's never been before Because the only way that we are going to move through this challenging time and the extremes that are here and will continue to get more and more, the only way is to, within ourself, to move from this conditioned structure we have here, this system, you see the systems out there are all breaking down. Well, the conditioned structure that we have here is like a reflection of those systems, like a mirroring. So the system that you've been conditioned into, your conditioned self, that's breaking down. It won't work. Nothing about your conditioned self can survive the times that we are now in. It is a reflection of the systems breaking down that are on the screen. All the madness that you see out there that's all falling apart and will continue that mirroring of your conditioned self 
is falling apart. It cannot stay. It cannot stay. And the only way that you can navigate from where I look, the only way that you can move through this is to move within yourself to another level of yourself. What are you actually made of? You are a consciousness. None of the conditioned structures of you are real. The programmed persona, personality that's all been put together by memory and experience and habitual programmed ways to be is to be wiped out. That can create a lot of fear. That can create a lot of panic and it will do in the masses where there's identification with those levels, where there is full identity in those levels, we're going to be seeing mass fear and panic on those levels for that one who believes itself to be that conditioned, programmed, put together self. We're going to be seeing, we are seeing. When I say we're going to be, it's not down the road, it's already here. So we, we will be seeing a lot of fear, a lot of panic and a lot of challenge for that level of yourself. And for those who are not even on a kind of spiritual, uh, inner spiritual awakening to realize that they are not that, to dis cover another level of what they are, it will be sheer panic and terror. You might experience that within your consciousness. And it's ever more called for, ever more needed that you, that you, we, I, all, that we, you, find your home in another, another, to stabilize in the, that in you that cannot be wiped out the light of your being. So listening to these words, hearing these words, if it's heard by the conditioned, programmed thinking mind self, there will be all kinds of reactivity if it's heard just direct from the place from which it comes if it's heard directly it's a confirmation it's not a threat it's a confirmation we're in a quickening and it's a very very exciting time to be alive I was saying just a couple of days ago in our, in our members meeting, I was saying, you know, we've really, really come to the point now that um, we're in a mutation. We're actually in a mutation where we, we, we turn into something else. We have mutated many times in our incarnations and we're at that point now where it's the end of this version of the human being
the one that relates to the world as a separate self, the one that relates to the world through egoic structures, the one that relates to the world, um, yeah, like as if, as if you're a world all by yourself. The one that relates to the world like that, it's the end of this human being. It's being, it's, it's time for termination. It's over. We're seeing the extremes everywhere. We're seeing the fires, the madness, all the things that are just like, ah, oh, and it's calling something from you. Where do you go in yourself when nothing works? When the world doesn't make sense, where do you go in yourself? It's amazing and incredible moment to be alive. We're actually here to witness a mutation and we're in it. And the, the, the ones who get through this are the ones who evolve and that means that your everyday life is a dedication of what means the most to you in your heart what do you love more than anything, what means the most to you? In your heart, what is the thing that means the most to you? That's something that you really need to get clear about. When you get clear about that, what really matters to you more than anything? What is the closest to your heart? When you get clear about that, is your life a dedication of that? Is your life given to that? Is that what you're all about? Is that what you're a walking, talking movement of? That thing which is the closest to your heart, that you care about the most, that you love more than anything. Can you be a walking, talking movement of that? Can you drop everything else for that? Can that be your number one commitment, regardless of the circumstance of your life? Can that be the number one focus of your daily life? and of what you're here to move in, regardless of the happenings of. Can you be a walking, talking movement of your deepest love? That which is in your heart more than anything is the connection to your being. Your heart is the bridge between your true being, your eternal being, that which doesn't die, that which is, knows no death, that which is eternal, your being and your humanness, the bridge is the heart. What is in your heart? Can you stay close to that? Can you be true to that? Can you be a movement of that? Can you speak from that? Can you meet from that? Can you listen from that? And we need to join together in that. We need to come together in that.
as a sovereign being, as each one being in their own right, a godliness, a god by him or herself. God has no gender. To meet more deeply, to come together more deeply, to sit together more deeply, to sit in silence together, to honor the being of the other. All the way that we have learned to relate has to change the boundaries that we've put in the way, the armor that we've put around ourselves as a protection and a fabrication, all of that has to go, the only thing that's called for is your raw, honest, true, heartful being. And that way your vibration changes, your frequency changes, and then you're attuned to a different, uh, this, this, this magical uh, existence has many different dimensions to it. And once your, your, your vibration is differently, you are attuned to another radio station and you're hearing differently, you're receiving differently. You're getting downloads and that is what um, keeps you from being taken by the fear, by the earthquake. It's because you are attuned to another frequency where you are receiving, you're a receiver and you are receiving and transmitting another frequency. This is something that cannot make sense to the thinking mind or to the belief system. This is something that you can only know for yourself by going there, coming here. This is not some magical powers that are just for the special chosen few uh, that you have to practice and practice and practice from your little conditioned human self practice practice to try to get to this higher frequency no not at all not at all it's already it's already your true nature so it's just cutting all the ways of the conditioned self and operating from a new place, less place, where there is a trust that knows no doubt, 